Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you the fastest way to get the fairy horse in creative mode. That's from tier one to tier four, and then from tier four to the fairy horse. So you can see a clear difference between the vanilla horse on the right and the mo creature horse on the left, just in their eyes. So the vanilla horses have two pixels for their eyes and the mo creature horses actually have nine. So vanilla horses actually have to be used instead of the mo creature tier one horses because the mo creature horse egg doesn't actually spawn tier 1 horses, it spawns tier 2 horses and zebras. They only spawn three variants of tier 2 horses, which is the Palomino Snow, the Bay Horse, and also the Grullo. The Mahogany and White Horse, when you breed them together, will get you the Grullo. But you don't actually need it because you can spawn it straight from the egg. So the only vanilla horses you're going to need are the Black and Blood Bay Horses, which we have over here, and then a Grullo. So you can tame a mo creature horse with an apple. So these are the three horses that you're going to need. Occasionally the horses just seem to like go invisible. I don't even know why. If that happens to you, don't worry. They're still there. They're just a little bit glitchy. Okay, so you're going to put your vanilla horse in with a mo creature horse. Now, if you're breeding two mo creature horses, you're gonna have to give them both pumpkins to breed. With a vanilla horse, all you have to do is give the mo creature horse a pumpkin and then it will activate love mode. You don't even have to tame the vanilla horse, you don't even have to tame it, you don't even have to feed it anything. It just needs to be right next to the mo creature horse. They have to be within four blocks of each other and they have to be eight blocks away from the next horse. So if you bring a horse, a vanilla or mo creature horse too close, uh, they won't breed. So as soon as you move the horse away, they will begin again. So while we're waiting for our foal to be born, so you can use the whip on the ground or you can directly click on the horse or the creature. When they have their heads down, they don't move. So, yeah. The Grullo and Blood Bay will give you the red cow. Oh, okay. So when this happens, all you need to do is try again. Move the baby horse out of the way and give another pumpkin to the mo creature horse and then wait for another five minutes or so. Okay, so this should be the red cow now. Their name doesn't affect how they spawn. If you ever want to rename the horse though, you can click on them with an apple. You can also give them a medallion. The red cow horse has a blue eye and also has a brown eye. So I th I, this is probably one of my favorite horses. So you're going to want to wait for the horse to grow up. Don't feed mo creature horses anything to do with bread or wheat. It will actually break them. So once you have the red cow, you're going to put them in a pen with your black vanilla horse. Give the mo creature horse a pumpkin and wait for about another five to 10 minutes. And then soon you'll have a cow horse. See, again, it happens sometimes. This horse here is actually the tier one black horse. And this is pretty much the only way to really get the tier one mo creature horses if they happen by chance. This here should be the cow horse or also known as the black tavero. Ta-da, there we go. So this is the cow horse. Also, I don't know why the screen goes black at the back here. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't even know. Now we're gonna do from the cow horse to the fairy. So what you're gonna need is the uh, wild horse egg. Chuck it down, grab an apple, and then call it whatever you want. And there we go. So now pull them into a breeding pen. Give them both pumpkins. These two together, we have the cow horse and the zebra, and that will give you these horses. And you only need two of these to get the fairy horse. Okay, for Zorse 1, we're gonna give them the Essence of Darkness. Fly them up to cloud level. We should have some clouds. Where are the clouds? See, that doesn't make any sense. Just for reference, we are at Y133. But there you go, so you have your Pegasus. If you want to go down faster, just hold Z. Now we're going to need to get the Unicorn. So you give it an Essence of Fire. And then you give it an Essence of Light. Even though it doesn't show you that it's flickering, just got to click on it once. So just to breed them, you just give them an Essence of Light. But this takes about 10 minutes. Hold them together nice and close. So what happens is you lose the Pegasus and the Unicorn, but it gives you a very horse. It has the glitter like the Unicorns do, and they have the wings from the Pegasus. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. And just to dye them. So these are the colors, easy peasy. So we got the default white one, the standard fairy, the yellow one, orange, red, and then <gasps> pink, purple. Oh, it'll be fun to get crystal armor. Yellow, orange, the pink one, purple too, black, dark blue, light blue, cyan, green, and lime as well. Hopefully this is a lot more clearer and you can get your fairy horses a lot faster. So thank you.